So 2.1, the Royal Mail ship St. Helena was a unique cargo ca passenger ship built in 1989, specifically to supply the island of St. Helena, a British overseas territory in the tropical South Atlantic Ocean. The Royal Mail ship St. Helena can accommodate 156 passengers and 56 crew members. Information and the map above and answer the following questions. Okay, so what is in the map? That's Africa, that's Brazil, and okay. 2.1.1, determine the probability that if a person could be picked at random from the ship, it would be a crew member. Give the answer as a percentage. Okay, let's first talk about the question. This question is asking us to determine the probability. That is the main question. But as I read it through, I realized that they also asked me to create a percentage. Right, so I'm answering two um, questions in one. But first, what is probability? So probability is the chances of something happening. What are the chances of uh, the rain? If they say there's 80% chance of rain, so there's 80 out of 100 chances that it's going to rain. Um, likely, ne? highly likely. Anyway, we are going to do this probability. The nice thing about probability is that it has a formula, which you need to know if you're going to use it. Okay, so for 2.1.1, I know there's a formula for probability and the formula I like to say it says probability is equal to number of possible chances divided by total chances. Some people say outcomes. I like to say chances. Okay, so... Um, we are not calculating the probability. We are calculating the probability. So that's going to be our unknown. And then we have to substitute these two. So what is the number of possible chances? We are going to go back to the question. Make sure we answer the right thing. They want the possible chances for the crew member. So how many crew members are there? There's 56. And we write that in 56 out of the total. So that means the total of the people in the vessel, the people in the ship. There is... 156 passengers and there's 56 crew members so that's a calculation that i should have done before but there's not an issue that's not an issue i can just do it on the side so i'm just first going to say 156 plus 56 and that gives me 100 and 200 and yeah see when i do um calculations in my head i make mistakes 156 plus 56 okay that's 212 all right so i'm going to say here that post the total chances are 212 so the number of the crew is 56 and the total of people including the crew is 212 within the vessel now we're going to deal with the um the part that says we must answer the question as a percentage right so before we tackle that part let's um what are the things they could ask us they could ask us to write the question the answer as a fraction which would mean that it's done right if they had said write the answer as a fraction this is the fraction if they had said write the answer as a decimal fraction right decimal fraction did they say decimal or decimal fraction hmm. okay so now this one I'm going to do it here because I don't want to uh, mess up this part. So if they had said, write it as a decimal, that would be 56 divided by 212. And the answer would be, you take your calculator, you say 56 divided by 212, and you get 0, 0,2. Okay, that's 0,2641509413. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so that would be the decimal. You can round it off as you wish or as need be, as required on the question. But then they could ask us to write the answer as a percentage. Now, that's the one we are asked, so I'm going to do it here. Guess what? When you're writing the answer as a percentage, you first change it to a decimal. So even if this is not asked, you are going to do it anyway. So I like to write my calculator's answer. So if I'm changing this to a decimal first, I'm going to say 0, 0,2641509413. So this is a decimal. But now they didn't ask for a decimal. They were asked for a percentage. To change that to percentage, I just multiply that by 100. We're going to multiply this by 100 and we get 26. So that will be 26, 
0.415095094934. I never I round off while the answer is on the calculator. I always first write it down and then I round off. So I'm going to say this is 26%. Passengers on the Royal Mail Ship St. Helena are of the following nationalities. And then they gave us all the nationalities, about four of them. And then the first one, there is South Africa. And there's 48 South Africans who are passengers on the Royal Mail Ship St. Helena and St. Helena. And out of this 48, there's 35 fem males and 13 females. I'm just going to double check for my uh, some sanity. 35 plus 13 will give me 48. Okay, uh, that's the total there. They haven't written the total for us there, but I know that it's 156 passengers. It's been given there at the top. So the total for all of them is 156. But how many males and how many females are they? So I'm just going to make a total and say it's 35 plus 8 plus 23. 35 plus 8 plus 23 plus 10. Okay, so there's 76 males. And now let's calculate how many females are on board as passengers. 13 plus 4 plus 33 plus 13. I have the luxury of doing this because there's not a lot of numbers here so let me just double check if i calculated everything right 76 plus 63 gives me one okay what did i do wrong <laughs> um 35 plus 8 plus 23 plus 10 gives me 76 13 plus 4 plus 33 plus 13 will give me 63 something is wrong with these numbers that are given here 76 plus 63 gives me 139 passengers but they're supposed to be 156 passengers so something went amiss here uh unless there's a nationality that it didn't include but they don't 48 plus 12 plus 56 plus 23 gives me 139 so they gave me 139 the answer is 139 good thing i calculated Whew. Good thing I calculated, otherwise I would have done something wrong there. Okay, so there's a they're giving us 130. What happened to everybody else? They said there's 156 passengers. What happened to the 156 minus 139? What happened to 17 passengers? Maybe they are other unknown. Okay, fine. We're gonna move on to the question. Let's move on to the question. Determine the probability that if a passenger is selected at random, the passenger will be a Russian male passenger or a South African female passenger. So before you answer um, this question, you need to first check. Are we given a Russian male? Yes. Russian males? Yes. Are we given um, South African females? Yes. So the probability, the answer will not be uh, zero or none. Okay. So you have to do the probability. So it's russian males which is eight plus south african females which is 13 so we first have to find out how many is that in total so that would be 2.1.2 russian males is eight plus um female south african females which is 13 and that will give us eight plus 13 will give us 21 so there's 21 um, passengers that they're asking for the probability for. Now let's do the probability, which says P is equal to number of possible outcomes, obviously 21. And then I add all those numbers of the nationality, which is going to be here. Again, I forget. So now if I'm using a formula, I forget to do all the calculations, but it doesn't matter. I just use the next space here. And I'm saying 48 plus... 12 plus 56 plus 23. Okay, that would be, double check, 48 plus 12, 48 plus 12 plus 56 plus 23, 139. What happened to the rest of the passengers? Mm, okay. And that is our probability. Now, if you look at the question, it doesn't say write the probability as, so we are done. We've done everything that's been asked of us.